Hi guys, it's Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. I'm doing a paid review today. This is paid review 20JU52. This is for Caramba. Caramba. And quick wristwatch check. Paddock 5127. This is the G, the white gold version. Calatrava three hander with a date with the 324 movement. Very, very quintessential Patek, and it's a hell of a lot less than a Nautilus. Same machine, guys. Okay, this here is for Kama Karamba. Karamba. Hi, Archie, I've just sent you 50 bucks. Please spend it wisely. My brother, let's call him Laz, contacted me yesterday asking for advice for his next watch purchase he is an engineer who's climbing the ranks in an oil service company good luck good luck with the current oil prices and he already owns a rolex submariner from his birth year 1986 so that would be in 16800 i think so yes yes 16800 sounds about right he also has an amiga speedmaster reduced but it's not, he, he's not using it very much and he's planning to sell it in order to finance his next purchase. I gotta tell you, why do you need to sell? Why not just keep it as a learning curve watch? The reduced, I wouldn't buy a reduced, but it's not a terrible watch. Why must we sell these things? You're in the oil services, okay? I know it's a bit tight there, but come on, man. It's not nickel and dime. Let's not nickel and dime. What he is looking for is for a watch on the secondary market that'll be in the US, six to 8,000 range. He's looking for a steel sports watch to go with his daily rotation with the Submarina. He is one from each, he is the one from each brand kind of guy. So he's looking, so he's not looking for another Rolex or Omega. Well, he's gonna sell the Omega for God's sake. Get our story straight. Nothing irritates me more than he says he wants to sell it. Then he says, I can't get an Amigo. Well, what the hell, man? Are you out of your mind? Is he going to sell it? He's going to keep it. I don't understand, man. Get your story straight. He's got a seven and a quarter inch wrist. So I reckon that he can easily pull off anything up to 42 mil. So alternative, he's mentoring. Ah, IWC Ingenieur. Vasher and Constantine overseas. This one might be a bit above his budget and is... Not that easy to find on the... Well, it's not that hard. Not that hard, Sunshine. JLC Master Compressor Geographic or a Breitling Navi Timer Cosmonaut. Personally, I feel he should also consider a Zenith El Primero or a Panerai Lumina or some of some kind. He doesn't mind if his watch has an ETA movement, but something too similar to Rolex Sub, e.g. Tudor, is out of the question for him. Your advice and reflections on this topic would be highly appreciated. Best regards. Come on! Caramba! Caramba! Okay, Caramba. Firstly, I'm the pontiff. Do you know why I earned the big bucks? Do you know why I earned the big bucks? I earned the big bucks. It wasn't looks or charm that got me here. It's because I can predict what's going to happen in 12 months, 24 months, 36 months time. I am the pontiff. I am the pontiff. I am the oracle. So let's begin. Number one, is your brother going to sell the Amiga or keep the Amiga? We need to work this garbage out. He says one minute, he says he's, he's planning on selling. Then he says he can't get an Amiga. Well, what the hell is this story? That's number one. Number two. Number two, <laughs> let me explain this nicely to you. Your brother isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, okay? You may think he's, the sun shines out of his proverbial, but I am your pontiff. Now, let's have a look at some of these choices here. IWC Ingenua, soft as dog doo-doo, soft as dog doo-doo. The only one to consider is the 3227 movement one. That's the 42 mil, very top heavy. Lousy resale, lousy design, nobody wants it. So, possibly, then we're talking Vacheron overseas, absolute toxic dog. And your brother's not savvy to get the discount he needs. A good friend of mine bought the Vacheron Constantine, the previous one, the two disc date at 12 chronograph. It's 
44000 in Australia retail. My friend paid 14000 Aussie. That's about 9 US. There are bargains for, for VC. However, when he wanted to sell it, he didn't get much more than that. So it's a kind of a catch-22. I'd stay away from VC. Then we've got the JLC Master Compressor Geographic. Great watch. I love JLC. Fantastic brand. Not the time to buy that sort of garbage. Okay? It's not garbage. That's wrong. I'm very... I like to apologize to all the garbage out there. The JLC is not garbage. It's reselling the price. The value retention is, is, is poor. So I got to be honest. Then we go looking at the Breitling Chronomat Cosmonaut. Every time a Cosmonaut... That's a 24-hour hand watch. That means the hands go around once every 24 hours. It's a dumb idea. It's stupid. Nobody wants it. Nobody can read it. It's a stupid idea. Okay? It was stupid. Nobody wants it because people are dumb. They are dumb, dumb, dumb. So my advice to you, seriously, I tell you what I would say. Uh, let's have a look here. I tell you what I would do. Number one. If he's going to set, well, this stupid rules. Who is your brother to set the rules? I'm the pontiff, okay? Forget your stupid rules. I would say definitely a speedy would be a good watch to get there. That's a great watch to, to accomplish, to, to accompany the uh, the submarina. Okay, so I'd get a speedy. Maybe I'd get a vintage one with an 861 movement in it. You're going to get one of those four, five thousand for a nice example. <laughs> okay, that's one choice. The next choice is <clears throat> the next choice is is Zenith. Okay, out of all that garbage you recommended, I tell you the only one that really does strike a bell is the Zenith. Okay, the Zenith El Primero. They're a great watch. Buy that on the used. Don't buy that new. But you know what? You know, know something. I'm going to be honest with you. Your brother was born in '86. Okay, so that means he is coming up to his forties. He's in the oil business. Let's be honest there. Oil is disaster. Absolute, not just a COVID situation. Oil is a disaster. I used to work for Halliburton KBR. Okay, it's very tough. Let me tell you honestly my advice to you, okay? <clears throat> buy Rolex! Buy Rolex. If you're going to spend six to 8000 buy Rolex. Buy Rolex. Because he can cash it in when he gets the boot. Let's be honest there. He's in the oil industry. Tesla is killing the car industry. They're all going to go electric. Oil could be on the way out. It could still be there. But let's be honest. I would hedge my bets and say, in his case, you know what I'd buy? I'd buy a Milgauss. That's what I would buy. Milgauss, Milgauss. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. So I've got to be honest, the guy's got rocks in his head. We're in a very tough economic time, okay? I get it. This is the new world order. Um... <clears throat> you gotta prepare, you gotta buy Rolex. Why is this idiot really contemplating? Let's have a look what he's saying there. He's seriously contemplating buying IWC. You know how that's gonna end very poorly when, when he loses his job and he has to resell it. The Vacheron, that's gonna be another disaster. JLC, very soft. And the Breitling, cause no one even likes the Cosmonaut because it's a 24 hour time. People can't. Come on, come on, come on. I don't need to explain this to you. Best advice for you, seriously, you either get a Speedmaster man on the moon, whether you sell the other one or not is irrelevant. You buy more Rolex. Seven, six to 8,000. You don't want to put that into garbage watches. You've got to put that into something you can cash out. He's in the oil industry. Let's be totally honest. He's likely to lose his job three or four times throughout his career. And uh, he's got to wake up, wake up, wake up. It's Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. What would I buy in Rolex? Six to eight thousand. There's the forty mil Milgauss. That is a beautiful. Sorry, the Milgauss, uh, forty mil Air King. The Air King in the Milgauss case. That's a beautiful piece. Explorer dial three six nine plus the the minute markers. You know the the, in, the five minute intervals. Beautiful piece. 
You've got an Explorer 139 mil. That's a great piece. That's a great piece to have and to behold. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, you know, we start putting a bezel on it. A bezel starts to get more expensive in the price there. But I think any of those no-date steel sports would be great. Would I go date just? No, keep steel sports, steel sports, steel sports. Would I go another brand? Not particularly. No, no. Tudor, would I go Tudor? Look, he's got the money for a Rolex. Buy the Rolex. When he gets the ass, he can easily cash it in. So to answer your questions there, I'm the pontiff. I earn the big bucks because I give the advice. And what you were planning on doing is pretty, pretty dumb. Pretty dumb and pretty, pretty silly. Very, very silly. So there we go. That is the answer. That's the answer, my friend. That's the, the answer indeed. So don't be doing stupid buying these soft watches when he's in the oil industry. That's just silly. Silly, silly, silly. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just, just, just goes without saying, man. You've got to buy Rolex. That's the only thing that will hold value in this present day and time that we're in. So, guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Remember, Archie can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need these paid reviews to keep me full-time on the tubes. That's right. I need the revenue coming in to keep me. Otherwise, I'll drown. Otherwise, I won't have... Otherwise, I can't be making these vids. So, guys, please, please, please get a paid review done now. I really depend on it. Sponsor me on Patreon. Please do it now and keep me full-time on the YouTubes. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Archie Luxury. I'm the method actor who plays Paul Pluter, uh, Satan Deville. Um, I play a number of characters on the Archie Luxury and the Archie Luxury Corporate and the Paul Pluter channel. Guys, I want to talk to you about weight loss. Weight loss. I don't know if you've noticed in the last uh, couple of weeks there, but there's been a steady decline in my weight. And i got to tell you, the Archie Luxury Weight Loss Program, I've rebooted that thing there more than a bad server with Windows NT on it. Guys, I want to talk to you about weight loss and I want to be completely honest and serious with you. I've got a new technology and it's going to, it's going to help you lose the pounds. Archie Luxury, this is the new, new, new secret information, Tapeworm 2000. That's correct, Tapeworm 2000. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, new sponsor on the channel, App Stanchi 8. Help get the most of your engineering and DevOps with App Stanchi 8. App Stanchi 8 provides on demand DevOps infrastructure, test automation, and continuous integration as a service with a focus on mentoring and hiring assistance to help engineering teams scale. They are experts in Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and the latest open source utilities to help your company save time and money.
Cost reduction in your hosting bills alone will pay for itself. In addition, the team is 100% unsure. New York City-based senior engineers. Abstantiate will help you get most productivity out of your current stack and or employee headcount. Email hello at abstantiate.com. Please email now hello at abstantiate.com. Dot com for more information. Archie Luxury proudly supporting fantastic businesses. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Archie Luxury corporate live streaming channel to be updated on all the live shows I do. Live shows. <laughs>